Today we are going where no home chef has ever gone before on YouTube as we make the most epic, cheesy, ooey gooey vegan chicken parm casserole ever. You would assume that most vegans and vegetarians out there would really miss the cheesy, ooey gooey, sweet, tomatoey, crispy, crunchy outside of a chicken parm. Am I right? Well, I too am one of them, and I just have to say, vegans everywhere, today you may rejoice. For I am here to save the day. That's right, it's me, your badass, steamy vegan supergirl. Okay, okay, enough joking around. Let's get serious for a moment and break down this vegan chicken parm recipe. We're making a super simple dump and bake 15 minutes to prep chicken parm casserole that you can put together and throw in your oven while you binge watch some of my other YouTube episodes, of course. Because maybe you find me irresistible. Anybody? Bueller? For real though, this casserole comes out rich in so many flavors. It is cheesy and it is packed full of herbs and spices like garlic and fresh basil and Italian herbs and seasonings and it just melts in your mouth. Join me on this culinary journey as we taste the sweet vegan victory of ooey gooey cheesy goodness. To make this recipe you'll need marinara sauce, short pasta noodles, vegan mozzarella and parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, spices and a bag of soy curls. Now I cook with these all the time here but if these are new to you, allow me to introduce you to soy curls. They're made of 100% soybeans and they come dehydrated so you can easily rehydrate them in a pinch and transform them into a protein packed meat alternative in countless ways. Just pour boiling hot water over them in a bowl, cover with a lid and let them soak for about 10 minutes. Once they're soft, drain them in a colander and press out any extra liquid with a large spoon or a spatula, and voila, they're now ready to use. They're popular for their meaty texture and ability to absorb flavors so nicely, so definitely go grab a bag. Now let's take a jar of marinara sauce and pour the entire thing into a lightly oiled casserole dish. About nine by 13 is a good size. Next, you'll need a 16 ounce package of short pasta noodles like fusilli, penne, or rigatoni. I'm using chickpea as it's gluten-free and high protein. Pour that directly over the marinara. Now seasonings are optional, but highly recommended as they add so much more flavor. So use what you like or what I used here. Now lastly, dump in those soy curls and yes, we are using the entire bag, which comes out weighing around one and a half pounds rehydrated. Now to add extra liquid to cook the pasta noodles in, pour in three cups of water or veggie broth if you like, and now just give everything a really good stir to combine. If you find that the noodles aren't completely submerged under the liquid, feel free to add an extra half cup to one cup of water or until the noodles are just barely under the liquid. Use a spatula to gently press the noodles and soy curls under the sauce to ensure even cooking and that nothing dries out. Now, I forgot to capture this on camera, but tightly cover the casserole dish in aluminum foil before baking and then pop it in the oven for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes is up, you can remove the foil and give the casserole a good stir to make sure those noodles are cooking evenly and then simply sprinkle on a good layer of vegan mozzarella shreds. I recommend about one and a half to two cups for a good cheesy experience. In case you're wondering what brand I'm using, I'm using Dea's mozzarella. I've always found it melts really nicely, but Violife was also really great. Now it's time for the breadcrumbs. Now you can use panko breadcrumbs if you're not gluten free, but if you are gluten free like me, make sure you get those kind. Lastly, this wouldn't be a chicken parm casserole without the vegan parm. So let's sprinkle on a nice layer over top of the breadcrumbs. I'm using the Violife brand. It's my current fave. The flavor is bang on and the texture is lovely and it seems to melt decently too. So now that we're all cheesed up, let's pop that back in the oven for about 15 minutes more or until the cheese looks melty and the the breadcrumbs are golden in color. Now, if that ain't just the most delicious looking thing you've seen all week, I don't know, that right there is comfort. It's deliciousness, it's a hug. A crispy, cheesy, warm, gooey hug. I'd say for containing no actual chicken or dairy, this vegan chicken parm casserole looks pretty flippin' epic, and it is truly something that the whole family will devour. And what's more fabulous is that you only had to dump the ingredients in one dish and you're done. Great for a lazy weeknight meal that requires practically no thinking, just dumping. No think, just dump. Well, on that note, I'll leave you with this dump of delicious footage to make your mouth water. Mmm, get in my belly. Mm. How? Who? What? Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, mmm. Want some? That is ooey and gooey and saucy and chickeny. It is, it is meaty. Those soy curls, I'm telling you guys, 
You gotta get your hands on them. They are a total game changer when it comes to eating vegan food and still getting to enjoy all the same sorts of things that you used to do before eating plant-based. It is so epic. Mmm! 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 If you guys do try out this recipe, I totally want to know about it. Let me know in a comment below. Tag me in a photo on Instagram. I want to see your creations. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe below, you guys. I post like twice a week with full length recipe videos, grocery hauls, what I eat in a day is. I got you covered in the whole vegan thing. So make sure you're subscribed. I can't wait to see you guys in another video. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.